The tremolo effect will make your volume go up and down, creating a wobble type effect, and it does it a lot better than I'm doing it right now. So let's go with a GarageBand Quick Jam about tremolo. So first of all, what is a tremolo effect? Well, a tremolo changes our sound by adjusting the volume of the sound. It's used in guitars for things like surf rock. It's often confused with vibrato, which is similar but different. Vibrato is around the pitch of the note, whereas tremolo adjusts the volume. So let's dive in now and take a look at the tremolo effect here in GarageBand. So let's demonstrate tremolo on this lead guitar. At the moment, it sounds like this. But let's add some tremolo to give it a little bit more color. So we're gonna go into our mixer icon at the top here. We're gonna go plugins and EQ, tap on edit. And now we can add by tapping on the green plus button, scroll down and tap on tremolo. And here is our tremolo with its default settings. Now, if we leave it with these default settings, it's gonna sound a bit like this. So you can hear it has that wavering, that wobble type effect of the volume coming in and out. We can use these three settings here to change the effect and to give it a different feel. First of all, the depth is the amount of effect that's actually going to be applied. So if you want something a bit more subtle, we can dial that down. Or for something more extreme, let's dial it all the way up. And you'll see there that the depth impacts how much gain reduction or volume decrease we get with this effect. So if we want a large volume increase, we add the depth high. And if we want a low volume increase for a subtle effect, we make it low. Now the rate setting controls the speed of the tremolo. So on the right side here, it's in a number of hertz. So a low amount here will be a very slow tremolo effect like this. Or if we want a faster tremolo effect, we can dial this right up and we get a very fast tremolo. And if we double tap, it goes back to zero. Now, if we go to the left here, we can actually dial it into a type of note. So if we want, say, a quarter note tremolo, we dr drop this down to a quarter and then the tremolo effect will match the quarter note of the tempo of our song like this. Pretty cool. And you'll notice that with our rate, we can dial it down not only to a type of note, but even right down to a number of bars if we want a particularly long tremolo effect. And the T or D next to some of these stands for triplet or dotted, which is just a different way of measuring the beats. And you get a slightly different effect based on whether you select the standard, the dotted, or the triplet. And finally, the stereo phase setting can go anywhere from 180 down to minus 180 degrees and it will control where in the stereo spectrum the tremolo will sit. Now, this recording's in mono, so you may not hear much, but let's just play back and I'll adjust that now. And there you go. As with all of these effects, you can use them on any virtual instrument, any recorded instrument, any track you like here in GarageBand. So experiment with tremolo, throw it on some different instruments and see what sort of cool sounds you can make with the tremolo effect. And there you go. Clearly GarageBand does a better job generating that effect than I do. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got a heap more GarageBand Quick Jam videos down below, including a bunch more effects. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right, or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.